8 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday and I'm off to see if we can find the thing at the local recycling park. Hi, I'm just going to the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. I think in the mower section, you know, I went to. Aldi the other day and they were selling essentially that same brand they call it Garden King or something like that $119 for a brand new lawnmower just crazy but actually that Rover might clean up quite well I'm missing a stud on the side I think that would probably clean up alright yeah, swing back blades look in great condition front lawn Something, something, something. That feels all right. I found this home light. So I think that's coming with me too. Um, not that it's a particularly good brand, but it's in excellent condition. It looks almost as new. Um, and it says something removals, corp removals. I think it's just from a clearance company. So might not even be anything wrong with it. I'll put a new purge on there because they don't tend to last that long. New fuel lines. Uh, but apart from that, I think we'll be good. All right, let's go. Both in. I, I, I am denied about this, to be honest. Um, it's gonna need a, a bit of work, but uh, actually I think the bones are good, even though it's a bit old and tatty, but I think the bones are good. And then we have the home light, which especially with um, prices at the moment, they, they really are good. So let's get going. So the lines are a bit hard. They're going to be changed because uh, they're kind of compressed slightly and they're leaking. But uh, that purge actually might be all right. Get a couple of pumps and see if it starts sucking. Uh, oh, I just got a hole in it. <laughs> That'll have to be replaced. That stinks. Though it has a one-way valve, so it might still run just fine. We'll see. If not, we'll just have to replace it. Choke. On. Now that leanness could either be just that purge, which I don't think it technically should be. I'm just trying to think. It should be sealed, but uh, I'll just just give it a tiny bit. More fuel. I actually think it might be, but we'll have a quick look. For some reason my screwdriver is not fitting this very well. Yeah, look, it starts, it runs, it cuts. It does need a new purge. I actually think it is letting a little bit of air back in to the metering side of the carb. And that's why it's not quite running like it should. I have to run it richer on the low speed screw so that it idles. But actually when you go 
and pull the trigger, it's still a bit rich, you can hear it burbling. So we'll change that, we'll change the fuel lines, but uh, apart from that, we'll have a quick look and make sure there's no scoring going on. I think it, it really, there was not a lot wrong with it. It just needs a bit of a service. <laughs> Well, I couldn't leave you hanging. So the last hour, it took about an hour and a, probably an hour and a half to do the whole thing. Went over literally everything and found, of course, we need the new purge, which is done. We needed new fuel lines, which are done. Fuel filter was absolutely fine. New air filter was actually falling apart. So I had to cut one out of some air filter foam. It's under there. That's absolutely fine. Um, it was the diaphragm, metering diaphragm that was causing us the issue and possibly that little crack in that bowl. But uh, let's go start it up now that we've done the full service and overhaul and we'll see how we go. Job done. Fixed. Everything's been gone over, everything's been checked, pressure and vacuum test, uh, blah, 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 blah. So uh, yeah, all good, I'm happy with it. It seems to run really, really well. Can't complain. So there we go, give it a quick clean, quick wipe over, stick it up for sale. All right guys, catch you later. <laughs>